Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Bleach Death Realm. In this episode, what we're here to do is we're going to be mostly just kind of doing a couple dailies, and I suppose I didn't really show off the fact that I got toasted on screen. I've been streaming this game quite often over on Twitch, and we've been making a lot of progress that's been fantastic. Uh, for example, we have Ichigo at gold now, which is beautiful. He's he's doing his own thing, granted. I, I've been tempted to keep on going with this because... I don't have enough shards to upgrade anyone else, and like, Soifon's low priority for me right now, until I'm able to get more of her shards, so... I'm tempted to just keep on going with him to try and get him at permanent Bonkai. Granted, that might be weird, so we'll see. Um, we'll try and see how it goes when that ends up coming around to upgrade more. Either way, I've been really enjoying how Tosen does play, but he does have some elements to him that are a little bit strange. Uh, for example, first and foremost, his attack is fairly low. Um, Ichigo right now has 40,000. Sajin at currently, like, roughly the same tier as Tosin is at 37,000. And Tosin's only at 30,000. It's, it's not a huge deal, but it is a part of his kit that is... He's less damage-focused and more, like, counter-focused. For example, his first sends out a flame, and then if the flame hits someone, then he uses, like, a bunch of needles that fly downwards. The issue is that it only procs if he hits with the fire, and that doesn't combo off of the ground, so it's difficult. His second is a counter where if they hit him during the animation, he'll end up countering and doing the full attack. Once again, if they don't swing back, he doesn't do much, so he is a very... If you attack me, then I can reply. Then of course, his third is his Bonkai, which is stellar, awesome, the coolest. 10 out of 10. I do agree. I'm curious right now. If he's... Nope, doesn't get upgraded at all. Huh. How about this one? So when Awaken, he does one more slash. So not a huge increase to things, but... We'll go ahead and I suppose... Okay, we'll start with doing this. Because I want to get it done anyway. And then we'll try and go into the tension tie game mode. Because there is a quite... Quite a few things I want to get done inside there. So let's go party and try out Tosin for the, I guess, first YouTube time. Well, we did onto the Tenshin Tai game mode, but actually having him is different because he's not the maxed out seven star hero that can murder literally everything and its mom around the world. Okay, what's the stipulation here? You start with half health, and there's some pretty big lifesteal there. Huh. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Maybe it isn't a counter for the second. Because it, it seems as if it only procs sometimes, but it does swing sometimes when it doesn't get hit. It's weird. It seems like it's strange. But I can guarantee that the first, at least, needs to hit someone. So like this. There you go. That's the animation for it. It's weird that they don't have the showcase of it in the original animation thing. Hello? Anybody? Or, oh, I have to go. Right, I forgot that stages actually have progress sometimes. Weird to me. I'm gonna take a drink. Alrighty. Oh, shit. Alrighty. You know, let's awaken. Let's see how crazy he becomes after awakening. Probably not especially, but... Oh yeah, there's the needles right there. Alrighty. Oh, hey, and it's that guy. You know, I don't remember you properly. Like, I remember you were during the Orihime arc. I remember that you did have a fairly... For at least one episode, you were, like, the main antagonist, but... I don't remember the, the tentacle guy ever reappearing. The fact that he's an enemy inside this is kind of... I guess any hollows they show inside Bleach could work. The issue is Bleach, like, had no hollows beyond... They introduced up to Minos Grande, then went, wah. Okay, we're done with that. How about those fucking Arankar guys, dude? We also had, like, Ajukas, and we had Bastel Lords and stuff, but that's not... I don't count that as the same thing, because we didn't really get the chance to expand upon those all that often. Aside from just learning about the fact that they turned into Arankars, they didn't really have a huge element. There was no... Beastolord boss fight at the end of Bleach or anything. 
Granted, everyone's like, Ichigo turns into a base stone lord. Holy shit, dude. Look how cool and gigantic his phallus is. It's not... I don't think base stone lord is the word for that. Uh, it seems more as if it's a full conversion into an Ajuka. But, you know, I, I, I can't judge what people think Ichigo is. God knows he's fucking everything in the show. Ever. And he'll never stop being it. Here. I'm a wolf man. Hopefully you're having a good day. I guess you too, Shrieker. You only appear once to like fight a bird. Then you disappear as well. I guess every one of these only appears once. Fishbone appears one time at the beginning of the series in the first episode. Um, Shrieker appears at the chat episode. Uh, I guess Uryu would count as Minos Grande. Grand Fisher with Ichigo's. Everyone has like their own hollow they had to fight. The tentacle guy was Orihime's along with uh, Sora Inoue. Interesting. I really do wish we had more details about hollows and stuff like that. I want to learn more about Hueco Mundo in like pre Aizen days, you know? Because it, it, it was just a desolate wasteland of murder and devouring, which is fucking rad, dude. I think the idea that they're going to be covering um, previous Arankar stuff and giving them supposedly new forms, I'm tempted to try and ask for like more details about the past of the characters. Because like, Actually, we have a lot of the backstory of Grimjow and the fact that he, like, he was a panther, almost bestial lord, that just kept on eating and eating and eating. And he had the Freshons following him throughout that entire time. But I want to learn, like, Lilinette and Stark's survival. I want to have a light novel about them together trying to bond. I want to have, like, how did Baragon rule the, Sol the Hueco Mundo before all this shit went down? Which is just so fucking... There's so much expansion to do. I love Bleach, man. Alright, onwards and upwards. The next fight. I'm really enjoying this, to be honest. I, I need to get in the habit of swapping Tosin more often, because I'm so used to just using Ichigo and Sajin. But, like, every one of them is viable now. and We have a green, a red, and a blue. Like, our team is doing pretty solid, boy. I don't know why I called it solid, boy. I don't know why... I decide to give it some sort of hero name, but it works. Bop it. Ichigo is just such a fo fucking overwhelming force inside this, though. Like, he's so good. Ridiculously so, even. Bon Kizzle. I also didn't realize until, like, very recently that the bar on the top left of the blue is charging of specials and you can charge up to three in a row for some reason i just thought like oh the bar's full better just pop it but there is a meter for it and i guess if i expend it now i'll lose it but either way it's worth it and there we go Alrighty. so the big guys do seem to be picked up by the first when they are on the ground. So that's nice at least. That's at least some sort of element that I can feel happy about. The small guys definitely don't enjoy being hit by it though. Definitely just flies over their head. Such as a lot of my jokes. These hollows can't even understand the supreme comedy that is Leah's chill. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's that's an oof from me, dude. Let's go ahead and move forward. Alrighty. Oh, hey, Gein and Kenny. That's a... Scary combo. Uh, I'm going to try to beat Kenny first. Because I'm more afraid of him. Uh, ooh, okay. Hit them both with Shiretsu as well. Alright, swap out. Spin it up. I'm loving this. It's all in the corner and it's just a fucking at all times, but it works. Hell yeah. And that's going to be... Is that Megatomas or is that the purple Jigglies? I, I don't know what to call them. Spirit Orbs. Spirit Orbs, cool. But yeah, you can kind of see my issue in that I don't really care for Soy Fawn right now. So there's no real reason for me to invest in her. And like, I could buy these to be able to get more Shards of Sajin, but I don't know if... 
you know what, sure. Because I, I do want to get him to at least 5 star. 5 star is going to be the place where he's able to upgrade. And also, I think he does get the Awakening into Bonkai at 5 star. So, if there's ever a time, now is it. Uh, let's do the tension dies. This game was really fun because I, I just love playing as... I haven't played as Momo before, have I? Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, we have both White Zongetsu, or White Zongetsu, uh, White Ichigo, and uh, Aizen as bosses here. So hopefully we'll get those at some point. Let's see what she has to offer. So she has a sprint and stab. She has a very creepy net. That's cool. Um, her normal attacks are exactly how you expect. Nothing and literally useless. Cool. She's probably just a, mostly a link for Toshiro, to be honest. Let's see her special. <laughs> I, I mean, that works. I I don't know if I'm too fond of that. I want to see it again, but I don't think that now's the time for it. She is neat, though. You don't really get to see Toby Yume in action very often. Aside from, like, her character is inside this game and I suppose BBS. See, that's Aizen, but I don't want to play as the blue version. I'll just fucking do it. It's fun. It's worth it. I actually tried to pull for Aizen before, and like, I think I'm at 15 shards of him, unfortunately, but he seems great. Here, pop this. He also, like, his second creates clones of himself that he just has walking around afterwards. His third is, like, an incredible animation with, like... It's basically the Death Awakening version, but what if he only relied on himself? And it's great! It's rad! It's so fucking strong! Honestly, he is easily my favorite unit to play as so far, and I really want to get him at some point, but... Obviously, until the game does end up having easier ways to top up and stuff like that, he is kind of a fever dream. But god, is he a pretty fever dream. Like, that's a fever dream that I want to have every single night. That weird? Might be. Let's randomize this. Give me purple or gold. That works. Cool. Please tell me this isn't one of those, the, those like, running levels, the cleaner levels. I don't like playing that one. God damn it! Kenny, why is this your quest? I hate it so much. It's so fucking, like... Did I just dash? I just dashed right past it. Okay, I guess that works. I just broke the game. Um, I suppose I just did it. Okay, I broke it a wee bit. I will take any form of instant progress I can make. Hey, please tell me I don't have to go back to... Okay, thank God. I had a very strong feeling they might have forced me to go backwards. So I am happy that they don't have you have to walk out of the end of this now. Because that was kind of... It made it far too slow. Ooh, purple Aizen. Okay. So, in the Tension Tai game mode, um, currently there's blue, purple, and gold. And it's just the amount of enemies that spawn in front of you and the amount of time you get to play as the character. Like, this has 40 characters slash enemies to fight rather than having only 32 as last time. It's not a huge deal, but like... Any amount of increased time you can use these characters sounds good to me. Dude, that is so terrifying. I love it. It's so good. It's my big fave. It is the strongest of all time ever. Hell yeah. There you go. You know, at some point, I really need to start letting them just hit and wail on Aizen to see what his awakening is. Because I don't think I've ever actually attempted that. And the main way to get your meter up inside those levels is just let yourself get hit over and over. I did that with Hitsugaya to see what he had, and he didn't really have a big awakening. Randomize. Give me something good. Gold Ganju! Now that's the top quality. God damn it. Survive for 58 seconds. I can do that. You know what? They did make Ganju more fun inside this. And I... If you can do that, you can do anything. 
Yeah, like, even though they made him better, he's still not good. And that's how it should be. I believe they also had, inside Legends, they released Hercule recently. And apparently, he's, like, super bad as, like, an actual unit and stats and stuff. But he's one of the best supports. And I feel as if that's what they would do with Ganju inside a game like this. Or, like, a game that's more competitive like that. They would end up turning Ganju into, like, a joke character that does have his own supports. Like, he was helpful. So Soul Society Arc, he was super helpful in his own ways. His weird fucking strangeness. But... There we go. And toss that down. What is your awakening? What is your Bonkai? Oh man, you get fireworks all over your body. Now that's special. Alrighty. And that will be it for Ganju's Travels. I like how he runs like the fucking Nigurundayo smoky moment. It's my favorite. Alright, show me... That's not it. Show me Gold Eisen. You know what? White Ichigo sounds good as well. Alrighty. Hey there, cleaner man. I'm gonna try to get a good time. No, I do really wish that I was able to pull for him. Right, Ichigo seems like he is incredibly fun. Sometime soon. I can dream. But like, he doesn't feel very combo heavy, you know? It feels as if his attacks aren't linked to each other too well. In terms of actual flow. Like, there's a lot of characters of which you can feel the exact combos they would do. But I guess I just haven't had the chance to use him on actual level to see what he can link between, like, does his first go into his normal attacks and into second, or does it end up dropping them like it does inside that game mode? It's curious. It's curious. The way that is the big end. And of course we get a fucking gold Kenny afterwards, because that's how it goes. Alrighty, but I do think that will end up doing it for today's episode. Um, you know, Tosin's been great. Likely I'm going to have Sajin up to plus three by the end of today, because he is... He's three away from... Can I actually get that right now? Thank you. There you go. Bop it. Cool. Sajin's now plus three. I don't know why he was so, like, split between the different levels, but it has been accomplished. Likely, I'm going to try to push... 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 Push Sajin up to... I can't even collect these, apparently. Weird. Um, I'm going to try to push him up to plus four all around, then try and work on Tosin afterwards to also plus four. Um... I think it works for me, and I think it's going to be a fairly good scenario. Either way, see you guys next time. Take it easy, and bye for now.